Ah, good evening. I'm your lead anchor, A. Scott McGee. And, oh, I seem to be uh, by myself. In fact, there's nobody here. Where is everybody? Yo, sound guy. Where the hell is everybody? Well, get in here. I need somebody to sit next to me. I just can't just do it by myself. Uh, uh, we don't appear to have any uh, stories either. Nobody? What the hell, people? If we, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, anything interesting happen? Uh, I think the, there was the, uh, the deer summit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, the the deer summit. The uh, we could talk about that, I guess. That was kind of hilarious. There I didn't was. Go. A, oh, you didn't go, huh? No, no. I just, just oh. knew about it. Um. Well, uh, I heard somebody wanted to bring back the predators. Is there? Which from, uh, from the movie? That's terrible. Oh whoa. Uh, I don't know about that predator. I mean, that would be definitely more effective for as far as deer. Uh, I don't know. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's pretty old now. I don't know if he can. That's true. That thing. Yeah, and expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Danny Glover's even older. Yeah. Um, what about ticks? I guess ticks was a th is a is a thing. Uh, are, they, are ticks predatory? They totally are. The predatory ticks. Yeah, and they feed off the deer. Parasitic? I think they're parasitic. Well, in the ticks' defense, I mean, you ever had venison? It's pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty. Yeah, yeah. it's good stuff. It, uh, Deer blood. Deer. Deer, oh dear. Anything else? Um, um, hmm. It's October. Uh, it's October. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what October means, right? Those, those pumpkin spice lattes. Love them. Ooh, yeah. pumpkin spice lattes. Delicious. Had one this morning. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, October. Uh, that's uh, Halloween, right? In Halloween in October? Yeah. At the end, though. End of October? It's like the very end. Oh, that's like a ways away then. Yeah. What are you going to be this year? You going to dress up? Um, I was thinking of going as Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Yeah, he's a reporter, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Good, <laughs> good stuff. So you'll just be like, it'll be like, just like you're coming into work. Yeah. 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 So you're going to wear anything underneath it? No? You're just going to dress up like Clark Kent? Well, you got to have the Superman outfit, right? Under the... <laughs> yeah, you got to at least have a shirt on. Yeah. Uh, isn't there usually a parade or something? You going to the parade? Uh, I think there's, I think there's a walk. I don't know if you would necessarily call it a parade on Halloween. It's just where like everybody gathers downtown. Hmm. That's not till the end of the month. I bet the deer will be there though. Yeah, yeah. The deer might be there. They'll be spreading ticks to everybody. It's gonna be pretty scary. Check your candy for ticks. Yeah, you never know. Did you see that axe murderer that was running around? Axe? Giant butch, butcher yeah. knife, and I mean, that was a Halloween thing, right? Is he an right? axe murderer? Or I hope he's not an axe butcher actual. knife murderer. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good you have point. to wreck clan. Yeah. I mean, a butcher knife is the axe of oh. the kitchen, but. Yeah. I've been informed it was a cleaver. Oh, so it's he's a cleaver. A, yeah. Cleaver killer. Completely cleaver, yeah. different. Yeah. Uh, well, if I had seen him, I probably wouldn't be here today. So. Oh. I saw him roaming the halls. I just thought he was supposed to be here. And you didn't I, say anything. I, it never occurred to you that maybe this guy with a bloody cleaver is, should not be in a news station. I mean, it's Southern Oregon News Network. I thought it was just like, you know, regular old Saturday. So before we both die, um, maybe we can get some news in. Uh, anything else happened to the, this um, week? Let's focus on this week. All we've done is reported on the end of the month. Oh yeah, that's We're like we're gonna a, run out of news. We won't have anything to report for the month of October. Weather? There's gonna be weather this month, of some sort. Yeah. What's, what's the weather like? I'm gonna go open a door. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're in October, and um, funny thing about weather in October is, uh, you know, you'd start off, you know blasting heat in your car so that you could warm up in the morning. Then by mid-afternoon, it's like, you know, you got to turn on the AC and then you, you know, you go back to heat again in the evening. It's just, it's that time of year again. So, you know, conserve your car battery. Might, would be my advice. It's sunny this morning and there might, there's some 
some general clouds. It might rain today, or it, it might not. I, don't, I, don't really, I really don't know. Maybe if the meteorologist had shown up, he could tell you more, more specifically what's going to happen. But I digress. Yeah, uh, perfect weather for those uh, pumpkin spice lattes. Had one this morning, really good, with the whipped cream and the nutmeg on top. It's the best part. Got a free one because my punch card was full. So there's that. Uh, thank you uh, for that uh, weather report. How about sports? You want to run over to sports? I think that's good on weather. And now to our sports center, because uh, nobody else showed up. Sound guy. What's going on? Uh... Well, I'm here at the event. Um, nobody's playing yet because it's still a little bit early in the day. Uh, how about those Raiders, man? I mean, they're, aren't they good? I don't know what they're good at, but they're good. That's what I keep hearing. Um, something about a ball and two, two teams, maybe some kind of point system. Really not a sports guy, so I don't know the mechanics of it, but uh, I'm sure it's, uh, it's quite entertaining. And the weather's nice. That's always good. So you don't want to go to a football game in, uh, in bad weather. I just, if there's one thing I hate more than football, it's rain at a football game. Uh, what, it, what is it that they raid? You know, have they ever raided something? Is that the point of the game? Do you raid the nest? Like, what do you do? Do you raid the output? Is it like capture the flag? What's it like? Oh, it's just, it's just a ball. It, it's, no, it's just a ball. You get the ball and you, you like run to the end of the field. That's like easy. It's like the easiest game ever. Yeah, I mean, that's supposed to happen some point today. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fun. That's, that's sports. Yeah, there's, uh, there's two teams and a ball. I mean, that's, Well, uh, you seen any good movies lately? <sighs> I went and I saw Black Mass with Johnny Depp. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Any good? It's pretty intense. Uh, I'd almost given up on Johnny. I think he really phones a whole lot of his stuff in, but uh, you know, I think once you put some makeup on him and you give him the ability to pretend he's not Johnny Depp, he's actually pretty good. Isn't he like 50 or so now? They were, I saw some tabloid something they were saying. He's finally losing his good looks. He's hmm. still good looking? Well, still I guess that's why. He, yeah, he's uh. Well, I don't know. He's like, he's got a really receding hairline and like gray hair, but in that movie. But you know, was that if makeup? You, if you're into devilish-looking old men, then yeah. I am kind of into devilish old. Men. Yeah. <laughs> if you're into devilish old men who like to strangle hookers, then yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's Johnny Depp, man. I hear he's got a house out in Applegate. Oh yeah, there's a few local celebrities, aren't there? Mm -hmm. uh, something about um, Bruce Campbell, who's lived here for years. Bruce Campbell of Evil Dead fame. Yeah, when Speaking are we gonna get October. him on the show? Huh? When are we gonna? I mean, uh, you know, I uh, I knocked on his door and he basically just told me to go f myself. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. I just I just wanted to tell him what a huge fan I am, and he was just he was so mean. Yeah. yeah. I've been told he doesn't like super fans. Yeah, I've heard that too. And now to the sound guy out in the field. Just run, go to the PR oh, right. Okay. Uh, uh, reporting on uh, uh, the field out behind the stadium, I think. Just to ramp up to your English. Field this show. And, and, and this, this is, is the, the Southern, Southern Oregon, Oregon News, News Network. Why well, I said that? There's so much for every member of your family. With all the trends in cord cutting and video game addictions, some people ask whether television is still relevant. Well, here at Rogue Valley Community Television, our independent producers have a unique opportunity to make all sorts of mischief in the uncensored and quite possibly dangerous activity called Live from RVTV. 
Tune in every Friday night and check out the work of a different cast of characters every week. Whether it's crank callers on Google Hangout video chat, a herd of goats slowly going numb under the studio lights, or the latest conspiracy theory getting spun out, you will certainly be entertained, or at least captivated enough to see what could go wrong. That's live from RVTV every Friday from 6.30 to 7.30 on RVTV Voices, Channel 15 on Ashland HomeNet, Channel 182 on Charter Cable, and streamed at rvtv.sou.edu. And now, uh, Mo, the sound guy, who's uh, substituting for everybody out in the field. Yeah, I'm out here in the uh, field behind the stadium, and um, there's some general garbage and litter on the ground, some empty water bottles. Doesn't look like the landscaping crew's been here for a while. Car went by a couple seconds ago. You missed it, but... You know, it kind of looked like they were going to come into the parking lot, but they just, they, they didn't. Not a whole lot happening. Back to you. All right, let's do try the like, uh, how about you're like on, not quite on safari, but you're like surveying the local Ashland wildlife and we can put deer and, and bums behind you. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so I'm downtown or something? No, I'm still in the... Just a field Maybe somewhere. Or... Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the, uh, well, what could closely be described to as a field of some kind. And uh, trying not to spook the local wildlife. I mean, if we look over here, there's some sort of uh, bipedal Afghan dog sort of thing with long dreads. Uh, he's looking at me. Oh, God, he's looking at me. Um, Couple of rats. Uh, just stepped in something. Uh, yeah, you know, really, I mean, there's not a whole lot happening. I'm, I'm actually really uncomfortable, and I would like to leave. Can I come back in? Hello. Hello. Is this weather? Well, I'm out here in the field behind the football field. Yeah, there's uh, plastic bottles, some, some litter. Looks like the janitorial crew hasn't really uh, maintained the area a whole lot. Uh, nobody really playing. It's still pretty early in the day. Car went by a couple seconds ago, but you know, they, didn't, they didn't pull into the parking lot. So, yeah. So not a lot going on out there. Not right now. All right. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Still got some time to kill. Should I come in or? Yeah, why don't you just come on back in? I don't want you getting stabbed out there. Twenty fifteen is now the first year that more people have died from taking selfies than from shark attacks. Shameful. One guy here uh, appears to have died while trying to take a selfie with a tornado. Whereas I would think that would be, uh, you know, pretty obvious that uh, you would uh, fatal. You no. Know. Anyway, uh, here's another cup, uh, a man and wife who fell off a cliff in Portugal uh, while their five and six-year-old watched. 
I hope that selfie was worth it. Um, hmm. Forgot about the other ones. One man was uh, attempting to record himself uh, staging a, a, a hanging and uh, actually hung himself. Oh, no surprise there. Another man uh, named Oscar from Mexico was taking a selfie of him holding a loaded gun to his head and the thing went off. Um, no helping that, I guess. Completely unpreventable death. Yep, certainly. <laughs> Are you overinformed and underemployed? Great! Become an RVTV producer and broadcast your voice now on local public access. The classes are affordable and the benefits are glorious. Join a thriving community of volunteers and you can sign up today. <laughs> you can uh, have your very own digitally broadcasted soapbox where you can say whatever you want. There's almost no monitors or checks and balances here at RVTV. You can pretty much spew off whatever you have in mind. Let's say you were doing this anyway just alone in a weird, uh, moist bathroom. Now you can do it in front of the eyes of millions of viewers. Countless millions of viewers. Oh yeah. Thanks to Weather Man. Donald Trump trying to put a wall in Mexico? It's about f***ing time. Well, I heard this rumor that old Donald Trump gonna put a wall up between us and Mexico, man, and block all the weather from coming up here. They can have all the hurricanes and sh Ain't nobody crossing that border. Not weather, not birds, not deer, not animals, not the Mexicans. As a matter of fact, we just need to start taking white people and sending them to Mexico and see how they like it. Mother <laughs> start running nation. Talk about y'all need to speak English around here. Shit, man, Donald Trump done cut that shit off. No se mueva. Donald Trump trying to cut out Mexico. Finalize, you know, great wild in Mexico and America. There's gotta be one right there, right there. You motherfucker jump over that motherfucker, crawl under that motherfucker, swim around the motherfucker. I don't think we're ever really gonna stop him no matter what Donald Trump does, man. You gotta have like Big Brother up in the sky with a satellite looking at that motherfucking coast right there. You gotta look at that line. A line in between America and Mexico. And then you got the laser beams up there. Soon the cross the stop! Kill that motherfucker! You know, just be like gangster. We took y'all from the stage. Evaporated. Evaporated. Gangster. A ground-based point defense system is designed to enhance survivability of our existing Minuteman forces. I know we got Big Brother up there somewhere watching. You're always watching. Talk about pull out your cell phone. Hello? Zap! Head just explodes. Why? Because the police done linked up to your phone, hooked up to be like a microwave. When you said hello, you went poof. Gangster. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kyle Sunders, and I'm new to the Sun News Team. Um, I've been asked to come in as a bit of a uh, cultural, philosophical, and miscellaneous correspondent. And today I'm going to be talking to you about something near and dear to all of our hearts, that being escapism. Now, throughout the ages of America, we've had a lot of different things. We've had recreational narcotics. You know, those were good for a time. Uh, we've had video games, both coin-operated and 8-bit, up into our massive, immersive, multiplayer universes. But there's a new, startling, startling trend sweeping America. Are you aware of this? See, in a kind of neo-agro-green granola kind of hyper-psychedelic trend, we have individuals in this country and countries around the world taking mutilated plant matter and making crude iconography on it in scribbles out of carbon, usually made out of burnt other things. You know, it's all about reclaiming and recycling, they say, and it's very harmless. Then they take an indigenous deep jungle plant and they imbibe it with water and other innocuous things like sugar. 
And here, on broadcast television, I'm going to partake of this hallucinogenic experience. They claim that through this form of escapism, through the power of your mind, you can enjoy completely different worlds. So, here we have some of our psychedelic liquid. And we have a particularly intense book. And as you can see, there, there's this mutilated plant matter within. And children are actually looking at this filthy particulate. It's, it's held together with toxic glues and chemicals. And of course, mutilated corpses of exotic and endangered plants. And they imbibe this substance, which I've just taken. I'm taking a moment to have it metabolize. And then they stare. They stare at these, these crude glyphs. And you're supposed to, you're supposed to see something. I think, I think maybe this is a sighted person thing. Would you like to give it a try? Kill all elected officials. Well, there, there we have it. I, I, think, I think that's proof positive that, that this, this is a dangerous medium. So remember. No matter what you do, you'll either be crushed by the horrors of the humdrum banality of day-to-day -day life, or if you try to escape into a more pleasant existence, that existence will consume your mind. It doesn't matter if it's this horrific, movable, settable type and this mutilated plant cadaver, or if it's your high-tech, high seemingly banal tablet. There is no escape from all the demons in here. Dear and beer. Oh yes, I hear um, Oktoberfest, which just ended the other week. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't get to go because oh. I had to work for a certain ungrateful news crew. Mm. Yeah. These guys suck. Mm. Tell me about it. Can't even be bothered to show up. Uh, I hear they're, uh, next year they're having a venison barbecue in the park mm. for all the, uh, the cold, cold deer. Right? Watch out for ticks. Yeah. 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 <sighs> I mean, can you Boy. even eat them? They don't even, they don't look I very appetizing. I wonder what Lyme disease kinda... tastes like. Do you think Lyme disease has a taste? Does well, it taste they, like Lyme? They become pre-seasoned, right? I mean, that's yeah. like a selling point. Limed deer. Lime deer. Yeah. Some cilantro on it. Mm. Could be good. Mm. I want to go. I bet you if you slow roast that little guy, the meat would just fall off the bone. Mm. Deer and beer in the park, October 31st, 2016. Mm-hmm. Are we still recording? I think so. Yeah. I just keep smiling and nodding. Yeah. How much time do we have left in the show? Like two and a half minutes. Can we cut to something? And now to a pre-recorded segment that uh, is yet to be determined. Now here's puppies close up at a wide angle lens. Ooh. Oh, this is so cute. Mm. God, everything looks better in a wide-angle lens. It really does. Why don't we use wide-angle lenses? Because we have no money. Mm. All right. That's our show, people. Uh, thanks for joining us and sticking all the way through. Yep. This uh, was fun. Yes, fun. So much fun, I hope to never do it again. Join us next week when, uh, hopefully, somebody else will be here. Somebody, somebody, yeah. I wouldn't hold your breath, but we can only help. Yeah.
Congressman Newt Gingrich, the Republican co-chairman of the Congressional Space Caucus. The United States is at a crossroads in both its prosperity and its very survival. And the high frontier gives us a chance to leapfrog past the huge Russian army to regain our national security through developments in space. The space shuttle gives us an opportunity to develop through the high frontier program answers to the Russian challenge that would put us a decade ahead of the Russians in dominating the high frontier of space. In the future, he who controls space may well control the future of mankind. Please write to us at this address. Are you a bitter old shut-in watching television in the middle of the workday? Would you like to view the latest short films, music videos, and sketch comedy clips of local student filmmakers, but without all the simulated sex, violence, nudity, drug use, and naughty language that constitutes 80% of their work? Then tune into the pure, wholesome, vanilla version of the Southern Oregon University student productions. It's Soup! TV Daytime, every weekday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on RVTV Voices, Channel 15 on Campus, and Ashland HomeNet, Channel 182 on Charter, and streaming at rvtv.sou.edu, and as always, on archive.org.